trip continues, baby. Welcome, welcome everyone. The road trip continues. This final part, uh, we are <laughs> even further nowhere. This looks like the most random ass suburbs. Bro, Muggles brought the umbrella. He couldn't take it anymore. I have shade everywhere I go. <laughs> so we, uh, we're on our way to another hard off. It, it was this standalone hard off and it looked really cool. And I think, I got a feeling, but I, I think it's gonna be really cool. So stick around for that and uh, let's go and see what they got. It's hot. Cue that B-roll. All right, heading on over to the Game Boy section. Uh, loving these uh, box Game Boy section. Mario Tennis, ooh, Puyo Puyo for the Game Boy 1650. Ooh, the original Wario Land 2200. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but I really like this. The original Wario Land on the Game Boy. Fucking hell, man. Mole Mania. Still looking for this one for a good price. 2200 is a lot, but this is a game I grew up with and I really like it. And then next to it, we found a Tetris. Boxed Tetris for 1350. That's really cool. And a uh, 500 yen Super Game Boy. Thank you so much. That's actually I'm picking this one up for sure. Absolutely. Game Boy no Sekai to Super Famicom no Sekai ga ima musubareru Super Game Boy. Subete no Game Boy Soft ga Super Famicom de play dekiru. Telebi no daigamen de suki na iro ga iro iro tsukerareru. Game Boy Soft to Super Famicom no yume no kakehashi Super Game Boy. Then they have a uh, glass section here with some really nice medieval looking uh, Famicom game. We've got Dragon Buster 2. Then they've got Digital Devil Story. Digital Devil Story. Okay, I'll hook that one up later. And King of Kings. King of Kings is really cool. Fire Emblem on the Famicom. And then uh, another Fire Emblem on the Famicom. They got two versions of it, really cool. Twin B. And the Goonies, both heavy hitters. Really, really good selection here. Akira also on the Famicom. Can't go wrong with Akira. And then they got the Super Famicoms here. Uh, really cool. They've got Mr. Dot or Mr. I forgot the name of this. Mother 2, still looking for that one. Not for 3850 though. And then we've got Super Metroid. Fun fact, if you are a, a Famicom collector and you do not speak Japanese. Uh, Super Metroid is a uh, dual language. Uh, the intro, everything is just in English, so it's fine. Uh, perfectly importable game, explains the price. Over here, this is really cool. They've got the Sega Game Gear TV tuner. Bet you that still works. And then they have Ridge Racer Type 4. Really cool to see this. It has the controller with the little steering wheel on top of it. They do seem to have Picross for the Super Famicom for 880. I'll hold out for a better copy but I, I do like it. Mario and Wario for a thousand yen. This is the uh, Yoshi Super Scope game that we found at the flea market. Fun to see. Ooh, cool find. Harvest Moon, I think for the N64. Really fun find. And then we've got the Sharp Twin Famicom, the red one, for 22,000. This is what I mean, for 5,000, if we get the other one, fix it up. Cute, I love this, I want this. Uh, not for 11,000, but this is exactly the kind of TV that I want. Uh, just to hook up an old Famicom to. Great little cute tube, uh, really good condition too. Really nice, really nice. GameCube. Unfortunately, they're selling the Game Boy Player separately for 4,000 yen. That would have been really cool to uh, have a deal for 3,000, but it is a DOL 001. We've got a Sony PSX that doesn't work. Uh, no, not a PlayStation 1, a PSX, which is a uh, media center kind of thing that Sony did. Then we found a Donkey Konga, 500 yen each. Probably not with the game, but I think the controller's in there. <laughs> they just have these in the junk section. I constantly find these. I don't think I'll ever pay more than 500 yen for these. They're, they're, they're fun to just kind of find out there. 
the world's most sun faded N64, 500 yen, just the box, not worth it. In my opinion, this will just take up space. TV Video Mate Jack 3000, <laughs> whatever this is, 3000 yen is not bad. The Jack 1200, this is, these are fun little shelf pieces. I like these, I like these a lot. Let's go pay for my uh, Super Game Boy that I'm really happy that I found. I'm pretty stoked about this. All right, so I found it. This is a uh, big old book off and um, let's see what we can find in here, right? Let's go. I forgot how big this is. I used to come here a long time ago when they still lived in Chiba. But it's almost a hard off in the sense that, look, they have like TVs and all the other stuff. So uh, let's find those games, eh? Salamander in the cart only. And they have that one uh, Kyoro Kochan, the, the chocolate game. That's kind of cool to see. Yoshi's Island for 1500. That's not bad. Star Ocean, it's been a while since I've seen Star Ocean, 2300. Really good RPG on the Super Famicom. Tetris Flash. The blue one. 1800. Fun game. Dark Half. It's, uh, this is kind of an uh, uncommon find, I guess. It's an RPG. I don't know too much about it, but I do know that I want to play this one day. And to the right, we see uh, some box Game Boy games. Six Golden Coins. Mario 2. Not bad, not bad. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. No, I don't know what this is. Hello Kitty for the Famicom. Fun. Ooh, Star Luster in the back there. And then Diddy Kong's Racing. Look at that. Diddy Kong's Racing. 480. That's not bad. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to have Kirby 64 for 1500. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately that's it for this little uh, book off bazaar. And there's another store that I want to go to that's not that far. It's a no-name recycle shop, so that's either really good or really bad. So let's uh, pay for this and head on to the next one. Also, they have drinks. So I'm buying me a uh, 69 yen ramune with my uh, Diddy Kong Racer. Let's go, baby. All right, I guess we made it. So finally, uh, just for a laugh, I guess, we found this ribbon house and it seems to be, according to Google, primarily focused on pachinko machines. Now, pachinko is Japan's form of, uh, not really, but kind of gambling. Uh, it's kind of like a slot machine. I don't know, I have no idea what this is, but it looked very interesting and uh, It'd be a shame not to at least have a look, right? Oh boy, we have swords, military helmet. I love it. I love it. What is this, Alice Cooper? They're, they're blasting Alice Cooper at full volume. This is amazing. I'm having so much fun already. I guess we found them. Okay. 50,000, 30,000. I don't know. I never bought a slot machine, but this is really fun. They got like the really hyper new ones. And uh, got some retro ones over here. They really do have, oh boy. Oh boy, that's not PG. I guess they don't have like arcade machines. It's literally only slot machines and pachinko machines, but <laughs> that's fun. This is fun. Well, there you have it. We found it. I'm all the way in Chiba. I got to take a train. It's like two hours to get home, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little road trip pickups of today. I'm just happy I got all the way out here to experience it, to be honest. I got the Super Game Boy 550 yen in the box and Diddy Kong Racing in the box. I don't have an N64 console, but uh, you know, what a great game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go home now. What a great, great little road trip. I'm out. Thank you guys so much. Peace.